Okay. Yeah. Back back up a little bit. A lot actually. And try to be still. Okay. You can get a little closer so they can see what I'm doing. Cool. All right, guys. I'm making this video so I can show you guys. I finally figured out how to get a, a nice clean sine wave here. Um, I've got one of my motors. I'm gonna do this before my uh, phone, my laptop goes dead. All right. First thing I did is go under the frequency tab right here. Go down here. You've got the pass. Uh, you've got the filter. Click on your low pass. Mine is set to about 1162 hertz. That is gonna clip. A lot of the noise that's coming in and making the sine wave look really crazy so that was the first thing I did um, and at, uh, I do all my testing at 40 Hertz so I turn this up to about 40 Hertz with my uh, servo controller on one of my uh, hex motors right there good enough all right and uh, this is what the best I could get was a way to look like this which is still workable because I'm getting a peak to peak of 1.6 for vibration okay now that cleaned up a lot when I use this filter here watch what happens when I turn it up and turn the pass up to 9300 see that so what I did was turn the pass down so that these frequencies that are making that really dirty aren't getting through anymore. And you have to play with how much you're going to clip it. If you turn it down too much, you're going to get nothing. It'll completely clip the signal. So remember what it was at? 1600? Mm -hmm. Anyway, right in that range. So this is what I was able to get. That's as clean as I could get it. And you'll see that it doesn't have all that junk in it anymore. Now go over here to your uh, your time dial, and then turn that up a little bit at a time. And when you get to the right setting, it'll compress the wave for you, and you'll get that right there, which is pretty clean. It's you know you can work with that. That's not a problem at all. So. And the, the voltage peak to peak, it changed a little bit. And that's, I've got my gain set at max on the sensor. And I've got this, uh, the amplitude maxed out as well. But I'm still at 30 point, uh, 39 hertz, which is about where it should be. But uh, that's going to be the best way, really. And also, um, you can put your trigger on normal. And then do an auto set. And then just compress it just a little bit more. And then that's what you'll get. So, and it's still workable, you know, completely. It just, when it's got all that noise in it, when I turn it back and turn the noise up, it, the voltage goes up because it's got all that noise introduced into it. So, at any rate, that's going to be the best way to get a nice, clean sine wave. if you absolutely have to have it see there it is right there so you can either use the auto trigger or you can uh, put it an auto trigger and it'll do you know basically what it's doing here or you can go to normal and hit the auto set you'll you'll get the same result um, and uh, remember the main one here is to adjust your cutoff frequency on the low pass to get rid of all the noise See what happens when I let this pass all these other frequencies? It just turns into junk. So, and all we're really interested in is for it to be just high enough that it'll pass 40 hertz, you know, whatever you're testing at, you know. And as long as it passes that, which is your vibration, you're fine. So, as long as you're above on your, on your low pass filter, as long as you're above that 40 hertz, it'll work. If you go, but if you get too close to that cutoff, you'll get that. It'll stop working. There's no trigger. You've cut off all the, you know, you've cut off all your usable frequency. So, and there you go. 
that should give you a nice clean sine wave to work off of. Took me a while to figure that out, but if you just play with the settings, you'll get to it. The main ones are going to be the frequency, adjust your low pass to clean up the wave as much as you can, and then just use your time dial here to compress it. Just enough, you know, even that you can work with. That's not a problem. What's important is that you use the same frequency every time when you do your uh, your balancing. It's, it's not important that it change. As long as I don't mess with my time dial here, when I'm entering the numbers, it'll it'll still work. It's so. At any rate, hope that helps you guys out. Thanks.